Hi, so I want to make a little video to help you decide your backend uh, stack solution for building uh, web servers or APIs or anything like that. And I want to give you my overview of the three uh, stacks I know the most, and this uh, Node.js, Python, and Golang. I will start with the Node.js. This is the one that I have most, uh, have most experience. I've been using it for quite a while already and uh, for many different projects. Um, I can tell you it's, it's a great um, solution for server-side development. Uh, Node.js nowadays is a very, very high performance and there is so many packages to choose from that you, you will uh, never uh, run out of options. Uh, for example, if you want to do a, a web server kind of thing, there is a, a Happy, Koa and Express. Any of them are great. Uh, Express is probably the most simple one. Happy is the most uh, customizable one, there are so many plugins, so many uh, people working on it and using it that the community is big and great and uh, well the development process with uh, Node.js is always like choosing the right package, uh, make, making sure it works fine, uh, probably solving a, a couple of issues uh, related to that but uh, generally there is uh, so much uh, packages out there for Node.js that uh, you, 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 don't spend, and you don't spend so much time writing code as finding packages and uh, everything is already made so uh, the, the code of your app is going to be little but you're, you're going to use many many packages uh, which is, is, is fine I mean this is great that way like you have so many options that this is great on the other side uh, on the same side of the scripting languages you have Python uh, Python is a great choice as well for server-side development. Uh, I pretty much uh, know uh, where Flask and Django, the, I think they are the most uh, known uh, server-side uh, solutions for Python. And uh, both are great. I really like uh, uh, Django because it's like a, a big thing. You, you can uh, customize it a lot. Uh, it's, it's a great choice. And uh, it's like a, a, a framework, you know. It's not. It's not. I, I don't mean that it's heavy, but like you can do a, a big system uh, with the Django, you know, like very complex, uh, big uh, enterprise uh, kind of thing with, with, with Django without any problems. With Flask, you probably can do it as well. I I, I think it's more like a lightweight solution, uh, preferably bit more uh, useful for microservice kind of things, and it's it's, it's great. I I use both. And uh, I use uh, Flask a lot for microservices, uh, kind of uh, small APIs that do a little thing, or like maybe less than a thousand lines of code and things like that. I throw them there, and it's it's, it's really great. Uh, with the Django, I think you have so much options that you can do a, a whole solution. And the development process with uh, Python is is also so simple, so so uh, it's, it's really great because uh, Python code looks beautiful, simple. Uh, easy to understand, uh, that's why they use it so much in machine learning and very complex things and uh, also the, the the package manager, you have BIP for example, is great uh, maybe as good as uh, Node.js, uh, NPM or maybe better uh, there's so many packages to choose from, so many um, options as well so Python is also great, I, I really recommend it and uh, for the end, uh, Golang is another uh, server-side solution I've been using for quite a while already. And it's my favorite. I really like it. Uh, the performance is great. The code uh, looks very, very good. It's very simple, very easy to learn, very simple to understand. Uh, so it's, it has all the all the things you, you can possibly want. I mean, you can do very, very complex things uh, that are hard to do in other scripting languages like Python or, or JavaScript or uh, Node.js or whatever uh, in a very simple way. For example, the coroutines uh, are already incorporated in the in the language. So, for example, I have a project that has like thousands of incoming WebSocket messages, and I can just like uh, have a coroutine that is uh, in charge of saving these messages to the database. So I kind of have a program inside my program that is only taking care of this. So the the performance of these kind of things is great and you use the uh, channels to communicate between the routines and uh, the whole code looks very simple you don't have to write a lot of code for these kind of things you don't have to spend a lot of time finding a package everything is uh, already there for you to to use and take, and take advantage of 
and uh, for example it comes with, already with a web server uh, the HTTP package in, 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 the, in the Go uh, library and um, I mean there is, well you, can, you also use uh, packages you find in GitHub or whatever uh, the, the, the dependency management in, in Go is, is really really great uh, it's kind of similar to the other two, you just do go get it will automatically install what your dependencies are um, I mean, it's just so simple. You can just import from GitHub, and it will install everything. So it's really, really great, really simple. Your code also always looks the same because there are tools for this kind of things already in the language. Same as in Python. So, for example, the indentation kind of things. The code always looks clean and simple. Uh, it's really great. So that's why it's a great tool also for collaboration. Uh, same as Python. Uh, it's, it's great for for teams collaborating. In, in JavaScript, it's like a, more like a Wild Wild West kind of thing. So sometimes you have code that doesn't look like the same as yours, it, uh, and, and it's kind of be uh, hard of, uh, to to integrate with the different teams because someone doesn't add semicolon, someone uses a different type of if statement. With Go and Python, these issues are are are, are a lot uh, very di diminished. So uh, may, maybe you have the same kind of problem. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot less uh, problematic than in, in, in JavaScript uh, because there is like the code kind of always looks the same, always the same indentation. Um, there is like one way, one right way of doing things. As in JavaScript, you can pretty much do uh, things, you have more freedom because now the language has evolved and there is like so many uh, new features added to the language. Uh, that is not to say that I don't love JavaScript, I, I, I still use it every day, I, I, I do uh, write Node.js applications, uh, it's just that, I mean, if I have to choose uh, for, for my uh, personal uh, project, I would choose Go because it's simple, it's great, it's beautiful, uh, it's easy to collaborate and the uh, performance also is very, very high. So that's my advice for your server-side solution and uh, happy coding. <laughs>